Welcome to the video abstract of our paper titled ATP binding acid transport ray 1 expression in adipose tissue and its modulation with insulin resistance in obesity. Obesity is the most important risk factor for developing insulin resistance and subsequently type 2 diabetes mellitus. Why some individuals with obesity go on to develop insulin resistance and subsequently type 2 diabetes mellitus while others maintain normal insulin sensitivity is not known. Through studies in isolated adipocytes and mouse models, adipose tissue ABCA1 has been shown to modulate insulin sensitivity at adipose tissue level and whole body level. In this study, we explored the possible association between adipose tissue ABCA1 expression and insulin sensitivity in humans. For this, we recruited two groups of individuals, one group which included 28 individuals with BMI less than 25 and another group which included 34 individuals with BMI more than 30. From these individuals, we collected visceral and subcutaneous adipose tissue as they were undergoing surgical procedures. This was done after obtaining written informed consent. We also collected blood samples from these individuals. In the adipose tissue, we quantified mRNA levels of ABCA1, adiponectin and GLUT4 using quantitative real-time PCR. We also quantified protein expression of ABCA1 and GLUT4 using immunohistochemistry. In the blood samples, we estimated the levels of glucose, insulin, free fatty acids, and lipid profile. We found that among the individuals with obesity, those who were insulin sensitive had similar ABC1 expression in adipose tissue compared to individuals who were lean and insulin sensitive. In contrast, individuals who were obese and insulin resistant had significantly lower ABC1 expression in their visceral adipose tissue. ABC1 expression in visceral adipose tissue had significant negative correlation with insulin resistance at whole body level and adipose tissue level. These findings show that insulin resistance is associated with lower ABC1 expression in visceral adipose tissue. Also, association between ABC1 expression and insulin resistance is independent of the presence of obesity. This study does not establish a causal relationship between ABC1 expression in adipose tissue and insulin resistance. Also, adipose tissue infiltrating macrophages can contribute significantly to the ABC1 mRNA levels quantified using qPCR. Despite these limitations, we believe that further studies regarding adipose tissue ABC1 could explain why some obese individuals go on to develop insulin resistance and subsequently type 2 diabetes mellitus while others maintain normal insulin sensitivity. Voice, Winnie Fred Benson. Drawing, Nikhil Chandran K. Technical support, Himani Thakur, Nigel Vincent, Harriet Vincent. Thank you.